we are going to talk about the Salesforce identity. If you um, look at this picture, so on the left side, user enters a user ID password and then user logs into Salesforce and then interact with the Google Workday, Conquer and Salesforce. So what's happening is um, Salesforce is connected to other uh, applications. Um, so that is the core of the Salesforce system. Salesforce itself cannot do anything. Salesforce is just a CRM. Salesforce has to work with ERP applications or data warehouses or anything on anything um, which is doing other than a CRM functionality or mobile application. They use connected app. We learn about that. So this is identification uh, of the Salesforce so that nobody uh, other than you can access the, uh, your data. What does Salesforce identity do? Salesforce identity lets you give the right people the right access to the right resources at the right time. You control who can access your orgs and who can use apps running on the Salesforce platform on premises in other clouds and on mobile devices. Connected apps are the uh, most important thing here in Salesforce. Connected app mean uh, connected applications. So there's a wiring going on uh, information uh, delivery and receivable uh, back and forth. Connected apps bring Salesforce or third-party apps and services together. If a connected app is created without implementing SSO, it acts like a bookmark. Users can get into the app from the app launcher or drop-down app menu, but they sometimes have to sign in again to use it. So to get the most of the connected apps, configure them for SSO. With SSO, admin can set security policy and have explicit control over who uses which apps, who can also use connected apps to manage authentication and policies for mobile applications. I need these standards and protocols. There are three uh, standards to um, uh, for the management of the identity uh, connections, industry standards and protocol for identity and access management. The standard can include a protocol that specify how system exchange information. Here are the three protocols that Salesforce and other identity vendors follow them to implement identity solutions. First one is SAML. Um, Second one is OAuth 2.2.0. Third one is OpenID Connect. OpenID Connect on top of OAuth 2.0. We'll talk about the SAML. SAML, um, when, you, when users, um, SAML stand for security assertion markup language. When you want users to move seamlessly between Salesforce Ops and application without logging in repeatedly, you set up a single sign-on security accession markup language or SAML is a protocol that makes it happen. Here are the couple of examples of SAML in action. When you are logged into Salesforce and then click on the app, launch it to get directly to your Gmail box inbox or that SAML in action. When users who are already logged into another application, can access their Salesforce without logging again, that's a SAML in action. So this is how a SAML uh, protocol look like. SAML runs on XML. Uh, you, can, uh, you can see SAML attribute, the username is uh, provided. So uh, SAML accession uh, uh, has a phone and the first name here. So they exchange information on SAML um, upon the authentication. Once you have the thermal uh, accession, so that means you have um, the authentication, uh, so you can provide access to users upon receival of the thermal accession. So this is how um, the uh, 
Samuel in action. The SSO process all happens with lightning speed. These are the few steps. The first one is here. The user tries to access the Salesforce here, right here. The, the second one is here. Salesforce reorganizes the SSO request and generates a SAML request. So here, um, identity provider is the Salesforce. Um, so number three, Salesforce redirects the SAML request back to the browser. You are here. So you enter user ID password. So one, two, three, it goes to the org and Salesforce create a SAML session returns it, three. Um, then, then you have the uh, uh, login access, you go to the application. Um, so number four is browser redirects SAML request to the external identity provider and SAML request uh, external identity provider. Um, that is uh, number four. This is the external identity provider, yeah. Uh, so, uh, this is the external ID provider. So, so Salesforce uses here, in this case, the uh, external application as uh, uh, ident uh, identity provider. Um, that's a number four. Number five is right here. Number five is here. The identity provider verify users identity packages and SAML accession contain the user authentication. So it creates a SAML accession here, uh, six. Now is five, six is here. Identify providers send SAML accession back to, SAML accession come from here to here. Number six and number seven, the browser redirect accession to Salesforce here. Salesforce verify the SAML session right here. Then user have now sign in and access Salesforce. So um, user can access the Salesforce now after verifying the SAML session. Yeah. Um, this is the flow. Uh,